it's just kind of weird because it's a loop of sponge, but right now it's food. I come out here and I get dive bombed at times. One piece of loofah, I'm going to eat it raw. wonder if I could do this and hold the camera. We're sucking this up and we're eating the loofah. Did you see that? It was like an egg booger. That's a wimpy loofah to eat, right? Yeah. Never seen loofah juice before, have you? Feels like a wet sponge in here. We might eat this one. This is the one we might take. Cook loofah cook. I'm going to have more loofah than I know what to do with. Ouch. Oh, daggone it. That's hot. Here goes nothing. I'm going to put that in my compost pile so the worms can enjoy the loofah too. Hi everybody. Welcome back. I'm standing by my loofah trying not to get stung. We're going to find one of these loofah that we can eat today. We're going to walk around and see which one I want to cook. Why do I want to eat a loofah you asked? I want to see what it tastes like. They say that you can eat loofah when they're small but I've seen people eat them when they're big. I'm not eating a big loofah. I'm eating a little loofah. Let's walk around here and find which one we want to pick to eat. We do have quite a few loofah. There's a, there's a little one and I have to be careful when I touch this because there's wasps. Wasps? Yeah, wasps. That's weird to say. Say that five times. Well, anyway, there's wasps all around this loofah. Here's a small one. That's probably too small. I've got my scissors in hand to cut the loofah. Here's the biggest loofah that we have. And I can tell you, how does this feel? It is very soft. It, it's very, very soft. And kind of like a gushy feeling. Yeah, it, it feels kind of like, like a wet sponge. No pun intended there at all. Let's see if I can find a wasp because they're out here all over. What's this? Oh, that might be a bee. I come out here and I get dive bombed at times by those things. All right, is that a wasp or is that a bee? There's one flying around my head. There's another one. These are like all over. But here's another little loofah. Here's one starting. Here's another one. There's more of those bee things. Wasp bees. Oh, look at this one. This one like shot out overnight bigger. And that's what these do. You think you don't have a loofah any on here? And then you come out the next morning and there's loofah everywhere. They're, they're just everywhere. There's a bee buzzing around my head. There's more there. But these flowers come out in the morning and they die off throughout the day and hit the ground. Oh, there's another loofah. Let me show you how they start. Oh, look at, see them? They're just everywhere. Let me get a good starter one. Here's one right here. See this? They start like this and then they grow into that with the flower on the end. Oh, here's another one starting right here. I'm going to have more loofah than I know what to do with. They're all over this. And I have, look at, look at there. I have cut leaves back on here. Look here. There's two. Can you see them? There's one hanging here. We might eat this one. This is the one we might take. And then there's one here growing weird. It's coming out the other side. And there's vines. See these vines? These attach to everything and anything. This actually was attached to that little, this loofah yesterday. And I cut that so this could just grow. But this is the loofah that we might eat right here. And this one is spongy, but not as spongy as the other one. Oh, look. Oh, look, there's another one. Maybe we'll eat this one. Hmm. That one's a little more spongy, but look here behind it. See this? There's another loofah going to start and another one. That's on the other side. But these are everywhere and the vines is just vining and catching. But I've been cutting the leaves back, some of it, like pruning it back and putting the leaves down there. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which loofah should go? That one's too little. That's a wimpy loofah to eat, right? Yeah. Nope, not you. Nope, not you. That one's my first loofah that started growing, so I'm just going to let that grow. And it's supposed to turn brown 
on the vine so we'll just let it do that and then we can bust that one open later on and see a sponge nope not you don't want to disturb you but they're everywhere and they're coming out more see I'm gonna have more loofah there's another one coming out there see it right here with a beetle on it yeah beetle home I'm gonna have more loofah than I know what to do with oh let's pick this one this is fatter but let's pick this one all right here goes wonder if I could do this and hold the camera let's see ready I have scissors ready here we go oh that's kind of hard to cut oh if, of course it's on the ground so let me pick it up there's the loofah yep we're gonna eat that loofah when I cut that can you see it was very wet in there very wet in fact there's some drops on there I don't know if you could see that there's a few drops on there let's go eat our loofah I'm gonna cook this that's exciting isn't it for you maybe not for me but let's cut this loofah open and see what's inside well we have the loofah it's loofah time i'm just so excited to eat this did anybody hear a little sarcasm in that because maybe i've got the right shirt on today suck it up buttercup we're sucking this up and we're eating the loofah it feels 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 like a wet sponge in here it, it really does feels like if I would just do this water would just run out of it yeah that's what it feels like are you ready because we're we're doing this right now I don't know if I I'm just gonna cut it I'm just gonna cut it I'm gonna cut that end off because I know I'm not gonna eat that and we'll cut this end off just for the heck of it let, let me here's well here's what it looks like inside both ends and I'm gonna squeeze it just to see Oh, yeah, see, look. I'm going to put my hand under there. Look. Squeeze is like a wet sponge, too. Yeah, it does that. There's loofah juice. Never seen loofah juice before, have you? You have now. All right, rag. I need a paper towel now. So this tells me it's going to be really wet in here. Yeah, it's going to be wet in here. And I was going to try to fry this. We'll see how that goes. And I don't know if I should cut the green, peel it off. I'm going to peel the skin off. Yeah, I'm going to peel the skin off. Let me get my peeler. I'm going to peel this now. You ready? Are you ready? Oh, jeez. Okay. It peels very easily like a potato. It peels really easy. I really don't want to eat the skin of this. It is very wet and slimy. There you go. It's a wet and slimy thing. It, that it is. This is going to be fine, isn't it? Ugh. I'll cut it in the middle once I get all of it peeled. We'll see what the, the middle middle looks like, not the ends. The middle. Yeah, it's really wet. Okay. So this is what we have, and it's slimy. It, it, it is slimy. I, I, it's slimy. Wet and slimy. Let me move this out of here. I'm going to put that in my compost pile so the worms can enjoy the loofah too. All right. Down the middle. It doesn't, it doesn't look like a sponge yet. No, it doesn't look like a sponge. It, it has tiny little seeds. I can see little seeds in there. We're going to cut this in slices like that thick. I'm going to try to keep all the slices the same size because I am. Lufa slices. I hope I like this. Ugh. All right, to the stove we go. All right, just for the heck of it, because, just only because, this one piece of loofah, I'm going to eat it raw. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Because I think I should. All right, you ready? Let's see what... Let's see, what does this taste like? It was airy. It was very airy. Light, like light airy light and it reminds me of the taste of something I, I don't know what that taste is kind of in between a zucchini and a cucumber if you put a zucchini and a cucumber together mash them together you might get a loofah maybe I'm sure cooking this will make it taste better it didn't taste bad okay it wasn't bad but those two flavors mixed together yeah you'll get a loofah i have two eggs in here i'm gonna beat up and then this is hold on let me get it i'll show it to you 
Oh, jeez. Look what I did. All right, come over here and I'll show it to you because I just got flour all over my stove. This is buttermilk cornmeal mix, which I'm not picking the bag up again because evidently I, it'll make a mess. And then in here, I'm going to put this extra virgin olive oil. I've got my stove on low. Cast. Oh, cast. Ouch. Oh, daggone it. That's hot. Touch the bottom of the cast iron skillet. Jiminy. Cooking with Michelle is fun. So we're going to put, oh, about two tablespoons in there. Maybe three. All right, mixing up the eggs. Can I do this without fail? Let's see. Probably should have already just had this ready. But I didn't. I'm going to watch the heat on this. I'm just now getting used to cooking with cast iron on this stove. It's a learning curve. And I'm learning the curve. All right, there's our egg. And hold on, I need another fork now. Here we go, cornmeal mix, here. And I'm gonna add, should I add something to this now or I'll just wait till it cooks? Let me look in my magic cupboard up here and see what I have. Um, oh yeah, mustard powder, we could use that. Let me go get my garlic powder, it's in my other magic cupboard. Garlic powder, and we're gonna use musket powder. But I'm not gonna put it, I'm gonna put it just watch you'll see okay these go in the egg mixture how many should we put in there in the egg mixture these go and we'll flip them around a couple times to get eggy they need to be eggy we might dip these babies twice from the egg mixture they're gonna go into this cornmeal mix <sighs> I hate it when eggs do that. Did you see that? It was like an egg booger. Yeah, let's put this back in. Into there. And get this in. There we go. Alright, just throw that back in there. Coat it again. And we could put it in the pan. Let me get this one back out. The only pro oh. egg another egg booger. Alright, you ready? Here we go. Oh, salt. I'm gonna add salt to this too. When it's as it's cooking. one and I'm only cooking two because for right now I'll cook the rest later when Rob gets home so he can experience this delightfulness so now I'm gonna put some pink salt on it oh. always sticks always salt all right a little bit of garlic Oh, that's maybe a lot. Maybe a lot of bit of garlic. Musket powder. Love it. Link in my description. Love it, love it, love it. That's what we have cooking. There's the loofah. Cook, loofah, cook. You know, wonder if I'll just cook the rest of these so I don't have... I'm just going to do that. We're just going to throw the rest of these in this egg mixture. And uh, Rob can, he can heat his up in the microwave when he gets home. No, this is not dinner. I'm not feeding my husband. You serve yourself dinner. We'll probably go to Burger King or something. Now, I've seen other recipes that they use. They cook, put this in soups. And it's like an oriental dish. Or eggs. They cook this a lot with eggs. So, we'll see. I've never seen it fried. So, we're going to, we're going to see if it'll fry. Maybe there's a reason I've never seen it fry, right? Yeah, probably. There's got to be another way. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, well. All right, more musket powder. And of course, you hear my dog because my dog's in every video whining. There we go. We'll let that fry. I'm going to try to get this off my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, while you were gone, I added like two more tablespoons of olive oil to this. And the cornmeal mix that I had left over, I'm going to take that out to the compost pile because the worms probably will like it. That's just a guess. I'm kind to my worms. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Don't want to burn it. Let's see. There we go. Oh, nice and brown. I kind of thought as this cooked, it would flatten out a little bit, but it, it's actually not. I believe the two that we're going to eat are done. So I'm going to take those out, out, and put them on a paper towel to drain. Whenever I cook with grease like this, I always put like bacon or whatever else there is on a paper towel, paper towel, to absorb some of the grease. 
I've even been known to, when Rob cooks hamburgers on the grill, I will like mush my hamburger in between paper towels before I eat it because I don't like the grease. Ready? Are you ready to eat, eat the loofah? This is the loofah. This one and this one is the ones that I cooked first and took out. I don't want to burn my mouth. Well, so we'll eat this one first. This is, it's still kind of hot, but here goes nothing. Hmm. It's, it's really not bad. I mean, there it is without the, there's the cooked loofah. It's a little greener. It turned greener. And it doesn't taste bad with all this breading on here. It, it's really not bad. So if you want to grow loofah, the breading's actually pretty good. If you want to grow loofah to eat, eat it small. It, it's not bad and it's a food source. There's a lot of seeds in this. I don't know if you could see them. When I hold this up, you could... Ah, it's hot. Hold on. Ah! Hold, hold, hold please, hold please. It's really hot. Can you see all the seeds that are in there? Now, as this sits on the vine, it's going to get full of seeds. It'll it'll turn brown. It'll be I'll be able to shake it supposedly. And there's going to be a lot of seeds in there so I can plant next year. When I get to that point, I might be like getting rid of some seeds somehow. Somehow or another, we might have lupa seeds to get rid of. Would I eat another one? Yeah, probably. They're not, they're really not bad. This really doesn't taste bad at all like this. It's just kind of weird because it's a loop of sponge, but right now it's food. Speaking of, hold on, hold on a all second. Right. This, we'll call this section knowledge, knowledge with Michelle. Yeah, okay. So I was getting confused on how to spell loofah. When I first planted the, the loofah plant, is it L-U-F-F-A or L-O-O? -O? How, how do you spell it? Because there's different ways to spell it. When it's growing and a fruit, it's spelled L-U-F-F-A. So right now, we ate L-U-F-F-A loofah. When it's growing, it's loofah with two Fs. The loofah scrubbing sponge is L-O-O-F-A-H. I didn't know that. So we ate loofah with the Fs. And in the fall, we'll have loofah with the O's. That's a good way to remember it. I'm sure I'll still forget it. If you like my video, consider subscribing. I appreciate every single subscriber I have. Whether you can stay a second, a minute, or an hour. I appreciate every single one of you. And no, I don't check my analytics. I don't have time for that. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye.